what's up YouTube, Jeremiah Hersey here. Welcome back to the next PL300 test prep question. Today we're gonna to be talking about data profiling inside of the Power Query Editor. So as we bring data into the Power Query, we're gonna have the availability to take a look at our column quality and our column distribution to get a better understanding of the data that lives with inside of our tables and our columns. So to do this, we're gonna start in the Power Query Editor so that you have an understanding of what the information means. Let's go ahead and get started. So here we are inside the Power Query Editor and what I've done is I've just taken the list of 50 states and I've copied it twice. So there's 100 total values in this column. But what I've done is I've removed eight of the states from the second part of this list. And so you can see the null values here that I've removed eight of the states from the total list of 100. So to get an idea of what our information looks like inside of our table, we're going to go up to the View tab at the top of the screen to look at the data preview. So this gives us an idea of what the data looks like. And so you can see several options here. We have the column quality, which is gonna be given as a percentage. We're also going to see column distribution and column profiling, which is an overall view of the same information. So the first thing that we're going to do is we're going to look at the column quality. So once again, this gives us a percentage of the information with inside of our columns. So we can see that out of the 100 values, 92% of them are valid, meaning they have data, and 8% are empty. Remember that I said that we removed eight of those states from the second part of this column. So out of the total, there are 92 columns that have data, eight of them are null. And so this is going to give us the column quality. If I click on the column distribution, this is going to give us a little bit different information. The column distribution is going to tell us how many distinct values and how many unique values are with inside of our column. So a couple things that you need to know. With distinct, this is going to look at your data and the values with inside of your column and count each one one time. This does include nulls. So we have the 50 states plus that null value for a total of 51 distinct values with inside of this column. So it looks over your column, looks at the values, counts each one one time, including the nulls. The other thing that we see is the unique section. Unique is going to look over your column and identify values that only occur one time. This does not include nulls. So this unique portion of the column distribution does not include nulls and this is values that only occur once. And so with the unique distribution portion it's going to look at how many values are unique that only occur one time and this is not going to include any null values. So this is really important. If we look at the last piece here, the column profile, if you turn that on, it's going to give you essentially the same information down at the bottom. So it's going to give you a count of how many rows you are currently looking at. By default, the Power Query Editor is going to look at the first 1,000 rows of data. It's going to tell you how many empty, so those are the eight empty or null values for our states. It also tells us how many distinct values, so it's gonna look over that column, count each value one time, including the nulls. The unique is going to look over the values in the column and identify which values only occur one time, and this does not include the null values. It will also give you a minimum and maximum value from within inside of the column. So now that we have a better understanding of how to profile our data, let's take a look at our test prep question. So our test prep question says that we are you are profiling data using the Power Query Editor. You have a table that's named reports that contains a column named state. 
The distribution and quality data metrics for the data in state been shown in the following exhibit. It says use the column drop down to select the answer choice that completes each statement based on the information present in the graphic and each correct selection is worth one point. So as we look at the column quality here, so the column quality is up here at the top that gives us a percentage of valid information and percentage of empty value. We can also see down here at the column distribution that we have 69 distinct values and four unique values. Remember that distinct is going to include the null values. So distinct includes null, so there are 69 distinct values including null. We also see that we have a unique value of four. So the unique is going to look through the column and identify how many values occur only once. And so four values occur once inside of this state column. So let's take a look at our question down here at the bottom. It says there are blank different values including nulls. And so the key piece for this information is different values including nulls. So when we're including nulls, that is an indicator that we're going to be looking at distinct values. Remember that unique values do not include nulls. And so the correct answer for this first question is going to be 69 distinct values, which also include the nulls as well. The second part says there are blank non-null values that occur only once in state. The key to this piece is the non-null values and occur only once. This tells us that we are looking at the unique values within inside of this column called state. So because we're looking at the unique values, the correct answer would be four unique values within inside of our column. I want to thank you so much for joining me in this question. If you like this video, give it a thumbs up and subscribe to my channel for more content. I'll see you in the next one.